welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tabby and I'm a mummy to one little boy and I make videos on shopping and come shopping with me and fashion and cleaning and all kinds of things. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then do hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. Today we are doing a Christmas Poundland haul which I'm so excited about because I went to a different Poundland and they've actually got some really cool stuff. So Poundland bag for life bag of the month this month is this unicorn jobby and is it bad that I'm gonna give my friend a bag for life as a stocking filler? She'll love it so why not? <laughs> I bought quite a good stash of Christmas bits so I thought I'd pop into Poundland to find some tacky embellishments and stocking fillers and bits and pieces like that. So first things first and my dad actually got a set of these and I thought they're an absolute bargain with these um, little LED candles and these were in the two pound section and I'll just show you what they look like. They actually come with batteries already in them and if you just clip them on, they don't work. You have to pull the thing out, Tammy. Ooh. So this is actually what they look like without the ring light on. So they've got this lovely little flickering motion. So hopefully you can see that it's kind of actually flickering, which is quite a nice effect from a little candle from Poundland. So, so let's put it there and you can compare the two and decide if the pound shop candle lives up to a real candle because that'll be fun, won't it? <laughs> so now I've got a toddler. The only candle that I really have on is this one in like the log burner because we never really use it for like an actual wood fire. So I just keep a candle in there so it gets the same kind of effect. But if I want candles anywhere else in the house, I think the LED ones are a lot safer. He's not going to burn himself. It's not going to tip over and get like wax on the carpet or anything like that. There's no burns, there's no scalds, there's nothing not to like. So if I need a flame effect anywhere but don't want actual fire hazard, then these bad boys are going to do the job. Next thing I picked up are these deluxe jumbo elf snap cards. My little boy will be two at Christmas and I thought this might be a really nice simple game just to play with him. I'm going to put these in his Christmas Eve box um, just for a little game that we can play on Christmas Eve. I think he might be up for stat snap now. I think I might be able to like get the rules across to him and I think he might get it. Um, we'll see. <laughs> but I'm not committing to Elf on the Shelf because if you've seen like anything that I try and do that involves like consecutive days of doing something, I just can't do it. Like I'm I work full time, I try and do YouTube videos, I'm doing an apprenticeship in project management which I signed up to not realising what kind of commitment it was. Um, so I haven't got, I haven't got the brain space to think creatively about Elf on the Shelf and that kind of stuff. Maybe next year. And they're really nice big pictures as well which I think will also help him with his words. Things like hat and trousers and shoes and all that kind of stuff. So multiple uses. I got a couple of these gingerbread bath bombs. From Powerland, they're either going to be amazing or smell rancid. From what I can tell, they smell quite nice. So I thought I might open one and have a bit of a whiff before I give it to somebody as a stocking filler because I don't want to give one to somebody and then it smell absolutely rancid and they'd be like, thanks for nothing. If they are really nice, I will probably go back and get a few more. They've got penguins and snowmen as well, which look really nice, but I just wanted to give one a bit of a sniff before I decided whether they were a goer or not. I got these, which is 750 stickers. Who doesn't need 750 stickers? This brings back like every bit of childhood that was just amaze balls. Um, these, I've got loads of different patterns of stickers in there. And I just love these to stick on gift tags and Christmas cards, just to jazz up envelopes in that little bit um, and make them look a little bit more festive. Um, and these are nice and little, um, especially for my little boy when he's sending like Christmas cards to his little friends. It's lovely to just put lots of stickers on and make it a bit more interesting. This next thing's a bit naughty. <laughs> this I was just intrigued about. Should we do a video opening this on camera? I want to know. <laughs> it's 
a the pan shop advent calendar but it says strictly for adults only and there's a rather a dodgy looking snowman <laughs> in the bottom so I, it's chocolate it's chocolate in here but i was just absolutely intrigued on what the devil this can be it looks generally quite innocent on the front doesn't it until you look a bit closer there's a few rather questionable <laughs> pictures on the doors so should we open this together to see what is in there i literally just bought it because i was so intrigued i was like what could it be the very badly behaved elf what do you think should you do an x-rated video <laughs> let me know <laughs> i picked up this tissue paper because these father christmases reminded me of kind of like vintage christmas paper i thought it was really sweet and i always use like christmas paper to wrap presents within presents um, especially if there's like breakables and stuff, I like to put them in a bit of tissue just to keep them safe. And there's 12 um, sheets of tissue paper in here for a pound, which will do an awful lot of little stocking fillers and stuff. And it's a lot more environmentally friendly than actual wrapping paper, so I thought this was really cute. Does that not remind you of like the 50s and like baby shandiers and stuff? It did be, maybe not, <laughs> but it's still a bargain. I got a bit obsessed with my favourite thing. If you've been on my ch channel for a little while, you know I absolutely love window gel stickers. And I've just invested in, it hasn't come yet, but one of those like window vacuums. Um, I might just speed clean and show you me testing it out. Um, but I got that because my little boy is hands, like sticky hands all over the windows, playing with these bad boys. I have pirates, I have like um, boats, I have fish. I have Halloween jobbies and now I have Christmas jobbies too. Um, I picked up three, four, four of these uh, in different designs and these literally you just press them on the window and they're great because they're reusable, you can peel them off, put them back on the backing paper and then use them again in following years. Um, they stay sticky, you can I think wash them. I'm not going to read the description now because I haven't got my glasses on and I can't see a thing. But I'm pretty sure you can just like wash these under cold water which like brings back the stick and gets rid of dog hair and fluff and lint and all that kind of good stuff. So these are great because they're really squidgy, they stick on the windows and then they'll peel back off again. Children can like make scenes out of them and stuff and they are so much fun. My little boy absolutely loves these. There are some like really small parts on these which some of the others haven't got. So I just say if you are using these with children just be careful that you don't put them in their mouth because I'm sure they are not very tasty. But yeah I picked up four of these because I'm a bit obsessed. So I got these ones which are Rudolph and Father Christmases and there's some little candy canes in there as well but they're really cute. I got this one which I intend to stick on the front porch which says Merry Christmas. These which are nice and actually quite chunky uh, for my little man to be able to grasp. So these are just some blue and white snowflakes. I got these that say, let it snow, and a, and a um, snowman. Just adds a bit of festivity to the window panes. The next things I got were these little um, stickers. They're like little snow globes. So this is the one lot of designs. They've got like Father Christmases and Rudolph's on. And if you can see if I turn them, they've got these sequins inside that act as the snow inside the snow globe. Then the other pack that I got got owls and Father Christmases and snowmen. And yeah, so I always buy stickers, but this year they hadn't got the normal ones I buy. I normally buy just the flat ones with like the little holographic backgrounds, but couldn't find any stickers. So yeah, that's why. I've so that's why I've gone with these and these. That's just to add that bit of ba ba boom to an envelope. Also to go in my little boy's Christmas Eve box, or maybe I might give it to him before, I'm not sure, was this little wobbly eyes Christmas colouring book. <laughs> They've got lots of different ones, but I just thought to give him this with some crayons and stuff, he can just have good fun colouring in all the different pictures. He can't colour, but he'll enjoy scrawling all over it, I dare say. And for a pound, you know, it doesn't matter if he just gets a load of pleasure out of it and makes a load of mess and just enjoys himself. Oh, I got this for my stinky car. It's a mulled wine scented bauble. There's only one thing better than chocolate fingers and that's snowy chocolate fingers. I don't even know what these are, but they looked delicious. <laughs> 
So it looks like they're kind of half white chocolate and half milk chocolate, which looks ace. I probably won't even get a look in with these. The second my husband clocks eyes on these, then we're gonna be gone. Next thing I picked up was a box of tissues. We literally have a box of tissues in every room in the house. In fact, multiple boxes of tissues in every room in the house because if you've got a toddler or a baby, you know those constant snotty noses which are then passed on to you and you get it and everybody else in the house gets it. So tissues need to be within reach at every moment. So I got these ones because they're in a festive box and I thought they'd match the Christmas tree because I'm a bit sad like that. We have a stowaway. This isn't Christmas, this is Troubleshooter 1001 Carpet and Rug Stain Remover, which shouldn't be in a Christmas haul, but it is. I got some super exciting bauble hooks, um, because you always get out the baubles every year, and there's always the annoying ones with the little thingies that have come off. So I thought I'd get some of these ready, because I forget them every year, and then our nice baubles get put back in the box, because there's nothing to hang them with, and I can't be doing the whole like breaking bits of cotton and all that tying knots and stuff because no. I got this lolly for my friend, it says Merry Christmas and all that shizzle and it's quite chunky, you know, that, that's gonna last a while. And then last but not least, I got me a Poundland mug. Uh, it says Poundland, this mug costs one pound. I thought it might be useful for having a brew in future months Poundland hauls, so yeah. So that's everything I got in my Poundland haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if there's anything in Poundland that you've seen that's absolutely awesome that I've missed. And yeah, let me know if you want me to open this on camera, uh, this very badly behaved elf advent calendar. I'm actually itching to see what is in this. <laughs> like, I won't even watch other videos on YouTube. I don't even know if there is any other videos on YouTube with this. There's got to be. But I'm not even watching that because I want it to be a genuine reaction and I hope it lives up to like our filthy minds. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my Poundland haul and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Yeah, would I be like the worst secret Santa person in the world because like everybody else gets an awesome present and they're like... Who got the bag for life? Who gave out the bag for life in a secret Santa? And I'd just sit there, just be like. <laughs> but it's got unicorns on it! Oh!